Okay, so we're just going to go through and um, configure these um, plugins. So the first thing we're going to do is <coughs> moving pictures. So just highlight it and then click config. Okay, so uh, it's quite simple. Here, all I do is click add watch folders and basically point it to the folder where all my movies are. What it does then, <clears throat> it'll scan the drive, find all the shows that are on there, and basically go online and download the images and the, the information for the shows. So while that's going, we can go and... Um, the other, only other thing I change is the name. You plug in in the home screen. I personally don't particularly like it being called Moving Pictures, so I just call it Movies. Simple as that. So you can see, uh, as you go down, it's self-explanatory. Uh, Mark movies, watch, you know, like go through and um, change it as you wish. You can put in, um, if you tick that, you can actually uh, tell it to put in a password in case you have kids using the same computer and you don't want them watching violent or whatever movies. <coughs> okay, so... Uh, for me, that's pretty much all I do, to be honest. Um, I don't use that, and I don't muck around with any of that very much. And um, it just runs, and once it's done, you can go over here and you'll see a list of the shows, and over here the details. Um, so we'll let that run. It'll run for quite a while because I've got a fair few shows there. So while it's doing that, <clears throat> I'm just going to... That will actually stop it closing it up, but once we boot up Media Portal, it'll continue to run in the background. So what I'm going to do now is um, go into the TV series and configure that. This one is a little... not not too hard to set up either but there's a, uh, a little bit more information, a little bit more customization. So in here, it's the same thing. What you want to do is click on the path and then browse <coughs> to the TV show. So this, this one is, as it's called, TV series. So I have a folder full of TV series. Click that and OK. And um, what I can do is <coughs> click a refresh there. What it'll do is it'll go and it'll scan, pretty much, anything that's a, a TV series. Um, so just, <clears throat> and then once it's done, I can click Start Import, and it'll go through and it'll try and find, if that's green, that means that it's found the right TV, uh, the show, and information. I'll just let that run for a bit. What are over here... <clears throat> this is where it downloads the information for the TV series from. So this is an online database that it just pulls down all the inf information from. So that's, leave that. Um, I don't have an account ID. You don't necessarily need to have one. <clears throat> the only thing I untick from here is, uh, where is it? Download episode for the whole series. I tick that. Uh, enable local. That's no, sorry. That's I don't do that one. There's um, here, in here. Sorry, under general, pop up rate dialer after episode is watched. I don't particular. I don't use that because at the end of every show, it asks you to rate it, uh, but you need an account with um, the TV.com, and that's personal choice. That's all. So um, again, the name. I change it, I don't put my TV series. <clears throat> Sometimes I put series depending on, but otherwise I just put TV series. To me, uh, you can go through and there's a lot of customization available here. I don't um, particularly need change a lot of this. Um, and that's the database where it's stored. So I don't, I don't particularly change any of this. I just uh, let it go and do its thing. So once you've done this, you just click, 
next. And it, it'll go through. There's a lot here. I'm not going to start it, but you just follow it through. It's pretty self-explanatory. And once again, once that's done, you'll go into details. You'll see it. All the shows will pop up here. Cool. So, and that's that's it. <clears throat> and it might take a while. And again, you set this up. And once I've logged out of it, once I am in Media Portal, it'll run in the background. Okay, so we're going to go over to Online Videos. Again, highlight it. Config. So, again, basic home screen. I actually call, uh, leave it online. Um, I leave all this kind of stuff default unless, um, you know, there's... Uh, you, you can put in a pin for sites that are age-restricted age just in case um, kids go and look for porn or whatever so or you know anything violent but in here this is the list of uh, the pre-set up websites that you have so what, what I normally do is, I know, look over here, I just get rid of, because I don't understand any of these, I just get rid of anything that's not English. So as it's going down, I look at the language there, I just hit delete. Because um, there's a lot there, and you'll see in a bit when we log in um, why I do it. Otherwise, it's just too much stuff um, that I know that I'll never, ever bother looking at. So there's no point. Okay, so I'll just I'm going to go through and clean this up a little bit, and we'll come right back. Okay, so we're back, and I've cleaned it up. As you can see, there's a lot less shows here, um, and you can go and add your own sites if you know any sites. I don't worry about these other things too much here. Um, that's all I need other than like you said if pin number if you want uh, Everything else here. I just leave as default and it works for me. So click save and For now, that's pretty much it with the plugins. We are almost ready to go So uh, next what we're going to do is we'll start up more media portal and run through and have a look at a few things to make sure it's all working then we can and finalize it and make it pretty. Okay, be right back.